at AP Review. This is 2011 Form B, AB for response 2. A 12,000 liter tank of water is filled to capacity. At time t equals zero, water begins to drain out of the tank at a rate modeled by R of t, which is this piecewise function here. Uh, let's see, uh, if R is, con uh, sorry, is R continuous at t equals five, show the word that work that leads to your answer. So uh, there's a couple different ways I can do this, right? Essentially, all I need to show, uh, I, so I should show the limit definition of what continuity means, but then I can make my calculator find the actual value. So, uh, so in part A, right, what it means to be continuous is that the limit uh, as t approaches five from the left of R of t, would have to equal the limit as t approaches 5 from the right of r of t, right? Uh, now it happens that the left-sided limit is also the value of the actual function here because the value of the actual function uh, would be the left limit because of this equal to. But uh, so now I called this guy, I called the first one y1 in my calculator and I called the second one y2, right? So uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, arguably the easiest way to do this is because I have two functions and I want the y values at the same time, I could go to table set and I could start my table at five. And then if I go to table, it'll give me both y1 and y2. Now, since you want three places, you'll notice that the table doesn't go to three places, right? So like y1 is fine, it's, it's not rounded, but y2 is rounded. But you see how if I go over to that spot, it actually gives me the full value at the bottom. So, uh, so uh, y1 was the left-sided limit, right? And it was a 375, right? And y2 was my right-sided limit, and it was approximately a 367.879, right? Since the left-sided limit and the right-handed limit are not equal, right? So the left side and right side limits are not the same. Uh, so 375 does not equal three, uh, 367.879. So no, uh, so no, r of t is not continuous at uh, t equals 5, right? So again, you need this limit notation. Uh, it's important that you use that when they ask you to prove why something is continuous or not. Cool. Uh, yeah, so show the word that leads to answer. There you go. Uh, part B, find the average rate at which the water is draining from the tank between, uh, between 0 and 8 hours. So Anytime you're asked to find the average value of something, the easiest way to do it is use the average value formula, which is to integrate the quantity and divide by the width of the interval. So in part B, in order to find the average rate, what I want to do is I want to integrate r of t dt from 0 to 8 and divide by 1 over 8 minus, well, times by 1 over 8 minus 0, which is the same as dividing by 8. So this is what you need to, so you need to show the AP this, right? But then the mental leap you have to make here is that if you're integrating this function, you, you actually have to split it into two integrals. This is a 1 8th times the quantity, and then you're going to integrate from 0 to 5 of the 600t over t plus 3 dt, plus the integral from 5 to 8 of the 1000e to the negative 0.2t dt. Right? So you have to recognize, sorry, that this integral, this is the formula you want, but you have to split it into two separate integrals, right? And then beyond that, you're just using the calculator to do the work. Um, so when I put this in my calculator, right, so the AP then wants, the, the AP wants this whole thing, right, and they're going to want to see your approximate answer. But when we talk about how to put this in my calculator, right, I'm going to put in my calculator as a 1 8th in parentheses, open the parentheses, I'm going to do math 9, which is function integrate, of the thing I called y1 with respect to x, from 0 to 5, plus function integrate, again, math 9, of the thing I called y2 with respect to x from 5 to 8, right? So that's the idea. So you don't, the AP is never going to want to see this notation. They're not going to care about it. Oh, and I do need to close that last parenthesis just because it's going to bother me if I don't really. It wouldn't have made a difference mathematically. Um, the AP doesn't need to see this. If you're using a newer calculator, it's not this notation. It actually looks exactly, if you use the um, the calc print or whatever they call it, or math print, it looks exactly like this. Uh, so you would have to be not very good at using a calculator to screw it up. But I like to teach you the old fashioned way in case you get stuck with a calculator that's not yours or something goes wrong and your memory gets cleared and when you open it up, you don't know how to switch it back or something. You never know. So, uh, so anyway, so I'm gonna type in uh, 1 8th, right, uh, parentheses, Math 9, right, I'm going to go to vars over to y vars, pick y1, comma, with respect to x from 0 to 5, plus math 9, vars over to y vars, pick function y2, comma, with respect to x from 5 to 8. And because this was a lot, I'm going to double check that I typed it in right. 1 8th 
right? Function integrate of the thing I called y1, which I always note on my paper, you don't have to do that, but I don't like to get confused what I called what, uh, with respect to x, because x is standing in for t here from 0 to 5, and y2 from 5 to 8, and I hit enter. And I should get an answer that's like, yep, 258 point, so I'm going to get a 258.052 or 3, right? Uh, and I should make sure that I have units here, because this is the first part where I do have units. Uh, they want the average rate, and the rate should be in liters per, you would think they would mention this at some point, modeled by R of T, liters per hour, there we go, sorry, slow sometimes, liters per hour, okay, so I should make sure I have units because the problem has units, all right, part C, find R prime of 3, using correct units, explain the meaning of this in the context of the problem, so I can find R prime of 3 on my calculator, I know I want to derive this function, right? So for part C, r prime of 3, they just want me to go ahead and give an answer. Like, they're not going to give me any credit for this. r prime of 3 is going to be n derive. So I have two ways to do this. I can n derive the thing I called y1 with respect to x at 3, or I can press, so if I turn off my y2, you don't have to, the other thing you can do is you can graph, now I have a weird, uh, I'm going to zoom 6, I have a weird window because I was doing a different problem before this. So if I graph this, the other option is I can do second calc, and you'll notice that dy dx is a choice. So I could pick second calc dy dx, right? So I could do second calc 6, which would be dy dx, right? And if I hit that, it's then going to let me pick the x value I want, which is 3, and that's going to give me that it's a 50.000, right? So 50.000. Um, Cool. Uh, now, I need to give units for that, right? So if this is liters per hour, then this is liters per hour per hour, right? So you could either say liters per hour per hour, or you could say liters per hour squared, right? Now, they asked me to interpret the meaning. So the rate at which the water is draining out at time t is increasing at a rate of 50 liters per hour per hour, because this is the rate of the rate. So what this means is that the rate of the drainage, right, is increasing at t equals 3 uh, at 50 liters per hour per hour or per hour squared okay part d write but do not solve an equation involving an integral for the time a when the amount of water in the tank is 9000 liters okay so this is how fast the water is coming out right um so I know that the original amount of water in the tank, right? So at the start, at the, so if we want, let's say I want the total amount in the tank, it should be the amount that we had at the start minus the amount that has drained, right? Until time A, right? That's what we want. So the, I wanna know when there's 9,000 liters in the tank, right? Well, the starting amount was that the tank was completely full and they said it was a 12,000 liter tank. So that's full minus, well, the, if this is the rate that it's draining, the amount that has drained is the integral of that from the start until whatever mystery time they want. Now I can't actually say, I don't know when A is, A could happen during this first window. It could happen in the second window. I don't know. So I just used the notation they gave me for R of T and that's what they want. The end.